Edgar Wright was born on April the 18th, 1979 in Dorset. He is a director and writer best known for Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World and The World's End. His interesting style of fast editing, whip pans and crash scenes have made him a well-respected director. He also uses deadpan humour in fast-paced moments. I'm taking a shortcut before. I'm going to look at his different films and show the effects and styles of Wright that I might want to use in my music video or short film. Sean. Yeah. The first film that we will look at is Shaun of the Dead, which was released in 2004. A parody of zombie horror films, it put the normal Simon Pegg into an extraordinary scenario. The film was mainly influenced by George A. Romero, who is a director of lots of zombie films like Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead, which the film's name comes from. When you go up, player two has left the game. Shaun of the Dead uses a lot of whip pans and crash zooms to move from one shot to the next, and also displays time moving on quickly. With the whip pans in Shaun of the Dead, director of photography was David M. Dunlap, who worked on Goodfellas. He was able to do the whip pans on set instead of speeding them up in the editing. This made these kind of shots much more realistic and less digital. In Shaun of the Dead, there are lots of fast action style editing for the simple things like Shaun getting dressed. I like this type of edit and want to use it for our short film or music video as it can move small things like this on really quickly. Edgar Wright said that the trick with Shaun of the Dead was to pull off that it is a zombie film which isn't about the zombies. That you can go through the script and replace all the zombie elements with any other obstacle, be it a traffic jam, a power cut or even a thunderstorm. The next film that we will look at is Hot Fuzz which was released in 2007. Like Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz was another parody, but this time a parody of police action films. Wright is a huge fan of action films, so this film is packed with all the same effects and shots he used in Shaun of the Dead. He very much liked quick crash zooms to show a setup, like when Peg was loading up with weapons. All these shots are very short and snappy and move the story on. A very clear thing that Wright does in Hot Fuzz is his ability to tell a story in a minimal amount of time. Normally, if a director is moving from one scene to another, he'll have a shot of buildings and cars with music in the background, but Wright does things differently, as shown by this scene. Nicholas, Frank again. Uh, one other thing about your cottage, it's not ready. <laughs> does something completely different to the norm, turning the normal music you would hear completely down and the sound effects up, which adds to the comical aspect of the film as well. It's all very inventive and different. Lots of times in Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead, but mainly Hot Fuzz, Wright will take the simplest of scenes and find new ways of doing them, as well as things popping up or leaving the frame in funny ways. Martin Scorsese always said that cinema is a matter of what is in the frame and what is out of the frame, and Wright uses this quote in lots of his films. Hot Fuzz also takes the most boring bits of police work and montages it in a funny, exciting Michael Bay style. Wright also likes close-up things in his films, taking influences from Scorsese, who he has quoted as being the king of close-ups.
The last one of Edgar Wright's films we will look at is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, which is a very different style to Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead. Let's start with Launchpad McQuack. Uh, that's not the actual title of this. We are- In this film, Wright has taken loads of references to the comic itself, but as well as this, he uses a lot of comic book style effects like POWs on the screen when someone has been hit, or lives in the corner of the screen. Since this film is based off a series of comic books. I can't believe you asked Ramona out after I specifically told you not to do that. How are you doing that with your mouth? Never mind how I'm doing it. This makes the film unique and appealing to all sorts of different types of fans. One cool transition effect that Wright does in this film is have the lights completely turned off to pitch black to then come on to reveal a different setting. He did this by turning off the actual lights on set, making it more authentic. This also keeps the pace of the film up and engages the audience. His use of the same scene transitions of time, as well as fast-paced shots and simple scenes, like conversations or getting changed, adds to the excitement of the film. This guy here? Uh, you know what? He just left. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Editing of Scott Pilgrim especially shifts reality and moves the element of time really quickly. This way, Wright is able to have better content in the film as well as some comical content too. So, that's almost everything we like about Edgar Wright's style, most of which we help to incorporate into our music video or short film.